This week on Maker Update, an old-fashioned electric go-kart, more drama for Arduino, plastic razor blades, fingerprint sensors, sninjas, maker fairs, and robot trading cards. It's Wednesday, April 12th. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I just got back from Iowa City doing a presentation and a soldering workshop at the Mission Creek Festival. And I genuinely had a really great time teaching people how to solder. Like that was a surprise to me and hopefully something I'll be able to do more of. I hope you've had a great week and maybe have a weekend project that you're looking forward to doing. If not, maybe this will give you some inspiration. Take a look at this wooden electric go-kart by Instructables user Wooden Projects. If you've ever wanted to build a small kid-friendly electric car, but have been scared off by the idea of welding and metalwork, this is your guide. Apart from the bicycle wheels and a few off-the-shelf go-kart motor components, this little car is mostly pine wood, glue, and screws. It also just looks like a really fun exercise in vintage coachworks. And while the neighborhood kids scoot around in their gaudy plastic power wheels, your kid can putt around in leather-appointed luxury. There's even a hood ornament. Now, it's not a particularly speedy design. The specs for this one call for a 24 volt electric scooter motor with more torque than speed. But you know, the kid looks pretty happy. And how cool to see your mom or dad build the whole thing from scratch. And now for some maker news. More drama from the Arduino team. The big news last year was that the two warring factions, Massimo Bonzi's Arduino.cc and Federico Musto's Arduino.org, put aside their differences and created a unified organization that gave Musto a majority stake as CEO. And as someone with a PhD from MIT and an MBA from NYU, that seems like a natural position for Musto to be in. The only problem is that it turns out that neither NYU nor MIT have any record of Musto attending their schools, much less graduating. To add another wrinkle to the story, the background check into Musto's academic history was initiated by Lamour Freed and Phil Tyrone of Adafruit Industries, who distribute Arduino in the US and also make many licensed Arduino-based spin-offs. According to Wired, in her conversations with Musto, Lamour, who is a graduate of MIT, grew suspicious when Musto avoided any kind of conversation around his time at MIT. Since the story broke, Federico has since deleted all mention of MIT and NYU from his LinkedIn profile. In fact, the only education currently listed in his profile is a Montessori kindergarten. How bizarre is that? No word yet on how this might affect the Arduino organization and its leadership structure, but wow. Stay tuned. All right, time once again for a little review of a tool that I found from the excellent Cool Tools blog. These are plastic razor blades made by Scraperite. They come with a little holder, and what these are good for is any task where you need to delicately scrape something off of a surface that you don't want to scratch up with a conventional razor or palette knife. Just last week, my wife found this great tin-framed mirror at a yard sale that had old stickers and gunk on it. I put a few drops of Goo Gone on there and then used the plastic blade to work off the stickers. It felt like the perfect tool for the job and it spared me from having to pick away at it with my nails. Plus, you can sharpen these with sandpaper if you really want a fine edge, and the same can't be said with your fingertips. You can get a bag of five of these plus the holder for around $8 on Amazon. A link in the description will take you right to it, and by using it, you help support this show and the Cool Tools blog and their awesome podcast. And when someone comes to you needing a label scraped off of a jar, you'll look like a total pro. So do it. I have a few other tips for you this week. The first is this guide I found through the Adafruit blog on how to integrate a fingerprint sensor with a Raspberry Pi project. These sensors cost around $32, and there's a Python library of code that allows you to quickly enroll fingerprints and use them in your project. While I was looking at those fingerprint sensors, I noticed that most of them were also labeled as Arduino compatible, and lo and behold, I found an Adafruit guide on using these same sensors with Arduino projects. So really, whichever platform you're more comfortable with, there's a way to use fingerprint recognition. Obviously, these would be good for some kind of security project, but I was also thinking they might be handy for integrating into one of those bartending robots that I love talking about, not only as a way to verify your age, but also as a way to associate a person with their drink preference. That would be cool. I also found this guide by Just Add Sharks on cutting flexible hinges into laser cut wood. 
The technique uses a downloadable living hinge script for the free OpenSCAD software. You can also download scripts that give you the full box designs, which you can adjust for your needs. Seeing this reminded me of a piece I'd seen by maker Sean Michael Reagan on MakeScene about using the same technique for cutting out laser cut acrylic. He called them sninges, which I actually prefer to living hinge since it sounds more like a Dr. Seuss character. Maker fairs, this weekend there are four fairs happening around the world including Kent, Ohio, Omaha, Nebraska, Salt Lake City, Utah, and Edinburgh, Scotland. In addition to that is National Robotics Week and at nationalroboticsweek.org you can find a map of hundreds of events taking place. And to help celebrate, they created a downloadable set of robot trading cards. How cool is that? All right, and that's it for this week's Maker Update. As always, uh, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to this channel or give me a like or a comment. All that feels great. I love doing this show. And you can also support me and the Cool Tools blog by checking out that Amazon link and seeing if those plastic razor blades might be something you're into. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.